I, uh, Deese, what do you think? You know, we had talked with Coach Capel about this a little bit. Um, over these past few weeks, what have been the biggest problems that you've seen with you guys defensively? Uh, just, I just feel like we have a lack of effort. Uh, we really haven't like been locked back in on defense as well. I mean, I don't know if it's because of all the games we've been playing and stuff like that. Let, you know, guys don't got legs or anything, but it's just that we haven't been, we haven't got our ears back on that defense. And I feel like this game we we picked it up uh, to the extent like get it back. But it was just too late uh, when we picked it up. Deese, what'd you see on the last shot there? Uh, Coach Coach Ruber played. Uh, Everyone get a quick two. But uh, the last play I was going to see, I was came off for the handoff, and I was looking for uh, it in the corner. If it didn't have uh, his man had a help, he would have had a wide open two. Uh, but at the same time, the coach was like, look for look at the uh, goal attack. And the man, he was fouling, uh, but they didn't call it. So I try to try to get it off high as I can. So Justin or TB could be right there by the glasses. I could put it back in, tip in. Adisa, you guys have come from behind a whole bunch this year. Almost every game where you've trailed, you trailed, you've come back. But I think that goes to your, your credit is that you guys haven't given up, but at some point, uh, do you put yourself in bad situations by being in those positions too frequently? Yes, sir. We do. We do put ourselves in uh, situations, um, and it's just hard to come back. Uh, come back from it, uh, you know. Because I mean, even though we still it was a young, we got younger, younger guys. Uh, they don't know as much. But once you dig yourself a hole, it's hard to get out of it. So we just gotta get out that hole that we've been in for the last couple of games. Uh, Adis, this is your sixth loss in the past seven games. Um, what is it like among you guys right now? Like, what's the what's the general feeling like? How does everyone's mentality and mood seem to be right now, just given everything that's happened? Uh, I mean, it's it's frustrating. It's very frustrating because like we want to win. Everybody want to win, uh, you know. But it takes a lot to win. It's hard to win this league. Like Coach always says, it's always hard to win this league. And all thing we can do is keep fighting. I mean, you can't hang your head, you know, so you just got to keep fighting, keep pushing. You know, does so this losing streak now feel at all like the ones the previous two seasons around this time of year did? Uh, I mean, not as not as much, uh, but it's like we there. It's just, we just find, it's just, it's the matter of time of finding that extra push that we need to get through that, off of that edge, so. Audis, what are you guys talking about as leaders about trying to get out of the situations that you guys have been in with some of these technical fouls? Uh, you know, Xavier got called one for this game. Ithiel got called one for the last game. I know sometimes it's just you guys talking, but, you know, like those kind of penalties can be very costly in close games. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I can like, like I tell them all the time, like, you know, just talk just talk to us, you know, like Coach even said as well. But at the same time, it's basketball. I mean, I don't know why the refs does that, but it's just – the simple fact is basketball. There's going to be a lot of trash talking. There's going to be a lot of people pushing around, stuff like that. But it's just a matter of, like, it stands like the referees. I guess they're tired of it, you know. But we always get caught with it the most. But, I mean, like like I said, we just got to stay poised and just talk to Pitt. Do you feel like maybe like, the officials are looking at you guys more because of a reputation or because they start, they're doing it more for you guys? Or what do you think behind that? It's most definitely, uh, I, I mean, I feel like we do have a reputation with the refs, uh, but at the same time, like, you just gotta let us play, you know? Uh, and that day, man's gonna be men's, you know? So we're gonna play, we're gonna trash talk, just, you know, just like, we cut it out, you ain't gotta do all the tech. But I mean, that's just the referee's decisions. Well, DC went five for five in the first half, two for two uh, from beyond the arc. How did you kind of portray that onto the team? How were you feeling going into the second half? And how, as a leader, did you kind of try to get your team meets moving? Man, I, I just like, like I always tell coaches, I'm going to do whatever I got to do just to, you know, help the team and win and put a team in a good situation to win. So, I mean, I just came out hot. Uh, and when, I, when I'm playing like that, I just feel like the team feeds off that a lot. And we just had more momentum. And that's why I was trying to get the team today, more momentum. And we came out with that second half as well. Uh, we just had a lack of, 
you know what I'm saying, uh, performing in the second half. But, I mean, we just got to pick it back up Saturday.